yeah. neat little thing. Yeah, I think somebody wanted yeah. something he could put in his pocket and just dicked around with this thing. I'm Dave Churchman. This is my friend Dave Pete. We're both living here in Indianapolis. We're both hobby printers and it's all Pete's fault. At this moment, we'd like to share some fun things that have accrued to us over time that we found and we hope you find of interest. Composing sticks. I understand you've got a couple interesting ones. I do. Well, I have one interesting and one not very interesting. But we need them both. Okay. You want me to go get those? Please. I'll get them. I'll wait. All right, what do we got here? All right, there is a Yankee composing stick. I think it was made by the Chandler and Price in Cleveland. But nothing exciting. It just has a sliding and, knee and, and a works. clamp. Yeah, it works. So, in operation, we set a measure, whatever we want. Then it's held in the left hand, and the type is set from left to right, just like we write. So that's what a composing stick looks like. All composing sticks look like this. But this one doesn't. This one, if you notice, is a mirror image of the one that is in standard use, mm -hmm. common use. Mm -hmm. And this is a left-handed composing stick. I took a knee off an old stick when I had a steel fabricating shop, and I had one of my guys make the stick bed, which is this part right here, and drill the holes in here for the adjustment. And we now have a left-handed stick. But then I caused to have made a steel stamp that says H.B. Rouse, Chicago. I took this stick to Chicago, and I made it a point to visit H.B. Rouse and Company because I'd never been there, and I wanted to. They were up on Wayne Avenue someplace. There were three people in that building. John Knoll, the president, his wife, and I think the plant manager, and he was still there mm -hmm. cleaning up stuff. Anyway, I showed John Knoll a stick, and I said, D -d <laughs> did you ever make these sticks? And he said, well, no, I don't think we ever made left-handed sticks. And I said, well, what about this one, which is, of course, stamped with their name? And he said, well, I guess we did. So he's probably <laughs> gone to his grave thinking that they made left-handed composing sticks. Some archaeologist is going to see this yeah. in a hundred years and wonder. And swear to it. What in the hell is this? <laughs> right. It's really an abomination is what it is. Very good. Excellent. All right. They're closing in on us.